Today, we set foot into the mansion of a former NBA player. After the player fell into financial distress, the house was foreclosed upon and quickly fell into disrepair. However, what started out as a normal exploration soon went sour, as the owners turned up, forcing us to make a quick escape. Come along for this action-packed adventure. This is like all the emblems for the teams he's ever played on. Right here, this says the Milwaukee Bucks, and that's the Clippers. So what we discovered is this, these go in a certain order. So this is probably his elementary school, and then it's going in clockwise towards his high school. Then you come over here. to his college. And all the way over here, you have the first team he played on, and the next team, and his final team. A nice place to retire though. I mean, look, it's nice. Yeah, this is right for you now, so... Yeah. Yeah, but that pool table is really cool. But yeah, look in here. This is... Oh yeah! Remember the place... Look, this is, was this was at the place where we went last time. Remember, uh... Oh. The, the place where I went the second time? Yeah. With my friend? Yeah. That was, that was stamped on the walls. It's probably the same person. Yeah, because look, it's at Poetry by the book. Doesn't that kind of looks like a water system or something? Yeah. Or AC maybe. Like a field day for gutters here at one point. I don't know what the hell this is though. Like the basement's completely broken and flooded, it looks like. Table's nice. That's the thing, they did some really heavy duty boarding on this place. But whenever people board stuff up, they always miss one spot and people get in. Flooded. It's creepy though. There's a fireplace down here. How flooded? It's not that bad, but no. Nah. Too deep for my shoes. It's too deep for my shoes. This could have been a nice place. Look at that though. Like probably like uh, what are they called? Before it rained, people were down here. Yeah, a man cave probably. That's what it was. Something like that. There's stalagmites on the. T <laughs> you okay? This was a fish tank right here in the wall. That's other fireplace. This looks like a two-sided fireplace. Yeah, it was two sided. Yeah, this is awesome. Like if this was like actually like hundred percent like in use. Yeah, it would be, this would be a very amazing. House. Like even look at look at the marble here. Yeah, this is awesome. Like it's expensive. You can tell the detail. And he designed this by himself, I'm pretty sure. I mean if the colors are the colors from what he put them as, they're very different. 
Yeah. This is all way flooding. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's nice what staircase saying. down though. Ready? Yeah. yeah. I can't even see the bottom here. I'll drop the last. Ready? Point put your butt. There you go. He's like, look at the pole, dude. Watch the pole down. You can't. Yeah, it's pretty deep. This would have been the kitchen, yeah. Mm -hmm, probably. Because there's the fridge. Somewhere. But then, oh, this would have been the, like, I don't know. Would it be the season closet, the spice closet, maybe? I'm guessing, because look at, I mean, this could be a kitchen because there's a double door here. Yeah. Come here. Oh, this is the garage. Anything nice in there? Here, go again. Want to see how big it is? Go on. Oh, it's not that bad. Two car garage, it looks like. Oh, there it is. There's carpet too. And I'll just throw this stuff in. A lot of mold back here though on the wood. Yeah. So dining room, kitchen, fireplace right there. So maybe another little kitchen dining room and then you can give out food through here if you wanted to go eat in the living room i guess yeah but all the recreational space in this house there's a lot because you got this some in the basement you got some right there yeah there's gotta be a way out in the patio Yeah, that was all in the garage. I don't know why they did that. First bedroom. Another fireplace. Oh, there's another fish tank. This one's huge. Jeez. You're going to want to see this. This is awesome. Huge fish tank for the bath, master bathroom. The bath right there. You said the fish tank? Right behind you. Holy. But look at this shot. Oh, there's a condom in here. There's a condom in there? Yeah. Oh. Um, let me use it. There's more, a bunch of condoms in here. Then you look out over there. And so you can look out onto your patio while in the bathtub. That's probably where the golf course is. Yeah, right past there. I like the attention to detail with you can close the blind and it's tinted too. Yeah. And then you got your huge fish tank where you put fucking sharks in there and watch them. Because this is huge. This is huge fish tank. Okay, so some people just rolled up in here. There's two people though. They all came they both came in separate cars. We don't know if they're from the bank or some shit. She just went in the bed. Oh, yeah, there he is. These are tinted things. Should we escape? Oh, let's see what they're doing first. Because if they start taking pictures, then we're good. So do we say? Oh, we're just taking pictures. Say, should we just say it's that? It's for my uh, school newspaper. So the fish tank goes through, so you can look at it while you're in the bathtub, and then right above it, you have a uh, TV. Yeah. But they've been in there for a while. They can't be just looking for us in there. 
don't know. So we're gonna escape because some guy just came in here and he's pointing them toward the house. Let's see if we can get to that. Another bathroom. If this will open, we can get outside. Can you hear what they're saying? Out of the basement. They're upstairs. They can look at me from the porch if I'm not careful. I need to get out of here. So you can watch me from up there. Right above me in the room right now. Let's see me if I try to get out. All right, so Ethan's in the car. I'm just gonna rush it into the car. And with that, we had successfully made our escape. Keep watching for a detailed description of exactly what happened. As for the future of this building, things look promising. The potential investors seem very interested and optimistic with the plans of converting the house into a bread and breakfast. Thank you for watching. I was still stuck upstairs, and they already cut off my vantage angle, yeah, that's so tough. they'll see me if I walk downstairs. And I couldn't jump it, because I feel like they would hear me, you know? Yeah. So I was like, alright, I'm not doing that. So I had to stay upstairs, and they're slowly moving from in, in there, like in where the pool, in like the, the pool table was. Yeah. They're moving, they're shifting into the living room, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, it's either I have to be like, hey, sorry, I was here, my bad, or what I have to do is... There's a little, there's a broken area in the drywall that was in the kitchen room. So literally as they're shifting to move into the, the family room where we were, where like the, the dual fireplace was, yeah. I cut, I literally like put my body through the drywall, get through, and then I go through where the pool table is. Cause you know like the room where like the mirror was blocked? Yeah. I go through that door where the, bro the drywall's broken and I just go up the, the, the broken, uh, I went down in the basement because I knew it was flooded. I was thinking, okay, they're not going to come down here, right? It's flooded. I and thought you got caught. For the most part, they didn't go down there. But then the one guy's like talking to them, going like, so you know, this would be very good. We can turn it into a bread and, be bre uh, bed and breakfast. We just need to fix it up a little, right? Uh, like, see, so you got all these expensive tiles. You were saying pretty much all we were saying, like how nice it was already with all the tiles and everything. And then he's like, so now if I show you the basement right here, you can see, he's like, it, there is like an inch or two of water, but I've been down there before. We might be able to 
walk a little down there, and I was right under the staircase, right? Yeah. And he's so they, he walks down to the bottom. He gets his little flashlight out. He's like flashing it around, and he's like looking directly at the uh, the fireplace, uh -huh. and he points the light to look all the way back. And my the edge of my shoe gets in the the oh. flashlight's light. Oh no! And he's like, so you can see like it's pretty much nothing down here. You just had like the utilities and stuff, and then. He goes back up, the, the one guy's like, so I don't have any boots, and he's like, oh well, uh, and then the, he's like, I don't have any boots, and then he's like, well, it's not that deep, and he's like, well, my wife might have uh, boots and flashlight in the car, we can go check, and he's like, okay, yeah, sure, but let's just go check the upstairs real quick, since we're here, and then they go back up, and then I'm like, fuck, because they're going to come down here, Yeah. so then right once I hear them go upstairs, I ran to the window that we were going to think about go getting in, so one thing he was talking about is the guy's like, so yeah, we're gonna get this once we get the right amount of investors because he was trying to get the people to invest in with him. I was what I'm thinking is uh, he's talking to them. He's like, so once we get the right amount of investors and money, the first thing we're gonna do is get an alarm set up. We're gonna board everything up and get this alarm system set up. And then, so we're lucky because they would have had it set up in like a week or two, man, and we would have been caught right away. So they never seen us, luckily. They just came to try and get investors.